Greetings, fellow Space Marines. I'm your host, Mr. Allen D1, and today I have a little special presentation for all of you. Today, I present to you the Toby Accessibility Mod version 3.0 with Demo Map. So, uh, the demo map that I have here is one that was of the second demo map that I've created for the project, but revamped. <laughs> I mean, um, with what I had initially, the level wasn't fully uh, visually impaired friendly, to put it best, I guess. Um, so what I did is I restructured the level a little bit to make it a little bit more friendlier for those with visual impairment so they're able to navigate much more easily without getting stuck. And um, that's part of what the uh, update is with it. But the big update is the actual accessibility mod itself. And I have a lot of really cool things to show you with this. But one particular feature I want to show you is the Compass system. I want to give a thank you and a shout out to Jerwill who helped me construct this system. And I can't thank him enough for this, uh, for the, uh, the Compass system. Honestly, this thing has been driving me nuts for a long time. And uh, finally, we got it, we got it, we got it going here. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to do much talking at the moment. I'll only talk when I'm demonstrating the more important things. So without further ado, let us get into it. Here we go. Now before I begin, I'm just going to go on God Mode so it'll make it easy for me to demonstrate everything. And let us proceed. Armor bonus. Now, for those who are familiar with the previous ones, you definitely know this, some of the sound effects. That sound means door. A door that you could press and use and open and all that. And of course, you know that thumping sound right there means I'm just walking into a wall and not really going anywhere. And also, I'm in, you know, coming in contact with a solid object. Maybe a wall or a monster or a decoration or what have you. Now the walking also has been modified. As you can hear, no matter if I'm going sideways, moving forward or backwards, the sound remains the same. Now in the previous version of the accessibility mod, the walking sound, sometimes you heard a little bit more on the right side, sometimes you heard more on the left side, as it was an unbalanced uh, um, sound. <laughs> you know, as in it kind of gravitate to the right. For example, if I were to sidestep left, you would hear it, hear it on the right. If I sidestep right, you'd hear it on the left. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about if you view the original, you know, version. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Health bonus. Armor bonus. Health bonus. Health I do want to mention I did adjust the um, the proximity sensors for the pickups, so you have to be within 160 units of any of the pickups to for it to make a sound. So right now I'm staring at a shotgun from a distance, but when I move closer, there it goes. And of course the clip to the right. Shotgun. And I'm now facing the clip. Clip. Of course, it's really a magazine, but going based on what it was originally defined in the original game. Clip. Now, before I proceed, I want to demonstrate the compass system for all of you. So, um, if you hit Q on your keyboard, it will tell you what direction you're facing. So, I'm going to hit Q. West. It's telling me I'm facing west. I'm going to turn a little bit to the right. Northwest. I'm facing northwest. So I'm going to turn a little bit more. South. I'm facing south. I'm going to go left. North. Facing north. Go right a little bit. East. Go a little left. Northeast. Now as you can see, it's telling me what direction I'm facing. I'm just going to walk around like here. Southwest. And just randomly come out on southwest right there. So I'm just, you know, spinning around, spinning around. 
north. And just hitting that. Now keep in mind though, that it'll only tell you what direction you are within your, if you're in a certain range facing that direction. It's it's a little complicated, but it'll, it's the general direction that you're going in. So right now, east. I'm going east. Now if I am just a little miscombobulated, or discombobulated, excuse me, and I want to know what direction I'm facing and I'm really lost, all I have to do is hit the E button on the keyboard. North. And I default to north. And I'll, of course it'll tell you that you're facing north. So I'm turning all around. Press E. North. Facing north. Moving to the right a little bit. Press E. North. Facing back forward again. Facing north. So that's how the compass system works. And once again, thank you, Jerwill, for for helping me create this script. I mean, uh, th this thing was bothering the hell out of me for the longest time. And of course, really, the, all the credit really should be going to Jerwill for constructing it and really making it work the way that it does. I just changed the the sound definitions. That's all that I contributed to the uh, to the script right there. But he did the the real big part of the script. So thank you, Jerwill. Now I also did some modifications to the colored doors. I hear that generator drone sound. That's a colored door. Of course, it was in the previous version of the accessibility mod, but I did a modification to the doors in general, so I'm going to go over that in a moment. So, as you know, for those who remember from version 2.0, that when you approach a colored door, and if you do not possess a key, it will tell you. Access denied. Red key is required. So what I have is these little invisible actors that are technically invisible monsters, putting that in quotations there. Uh, what they do is they're stationary and they see the player and when the player comes within melee range, it will then initialize that function to tell you if you are lacking the key that, it, that you require. Or if you do have it, it will then proceed to the next order of business in this case. You no, know, in the case if you do have the key, it will open the door for you. So, moving on. Clear. Clear. Of course, I'll demonstrate uh, one other feature a little bit later on. When you do have the key, it will tell you that, you know, what door had been accessed. So, I'll go over that shortly. You hear those little blips? Those are the sounds of keys that are nearby. So, there are in fact two keys nearby. I'll show you the first one. Of course, when you hear that sound like that, that means there's a switch you can interact with. And you hear that magical sound there? The xylophone sound, I guess that's what it is? That is the new secret revealed sound. So instead of hearing my voice telling you secret has been revealed, yellow key card. It now is just a general sound effect. Because I admit, after a while, my voice does become annoying. <laughs> I, I know, I, I know it's a little bit of a deprecating thing right there, but I, I do admit when I even listen to myself speak, sometimes it's like, can I just shut up already? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Click, click. Shotgun. And here's our other key. Blue key card. I also want to mention. Shakespeare. Box of ammo. Now I just blew up a barrel just a moment ago and blew away two imps. Now the barrels, I did make a modification to them. They not only have a presence sound, which sounds like bubbling, goopy, slimy liquid, but also when you shoot it, it'll make a metal ping sound. So it's like if you were to throw a little pebble or a coin at a barrel, that's the kind of sound it makes. So I'll demonstrate that again momentarily. Of course, I blew up another barrel there. Shotgun. Clip. Clip. Shells. Okay, 
Okay, so I'll do another demonstration with the barrels. We're coming up to some more, but I want to just go back to the keyed doors for a moment. So right now I'm facing the blue door, and I do possess the blue key card, so I will approach the door. Blue access granted. And as you heard, it said blue access granted. So, whichever color door you come across, when you have the key for that door, it will tell you what door you just opened. So, as you heard in this case, the blue door. So it says, blue access granted. So, what it used to say was just access granted, without telling you what door you just opened. So, I made a modification to it, so you know which door that you just interacted with. So. I'm gonna go pick up the red, red here, key card. which is behind the blue door, and we have a couple of barrels. Now you probably hear that bubbling sound, as well as a soul sphere nearby. But you hear the bubbling sound. Those are barrels. I have two barrels here. So I'm gonna just use my pistol just to shoot, and you'll hear the ping sound. You hear that? And then boom. And then boom. So it makes a ping sound when you shoot it, and then eventually it explodes. But you'll hear the bubbling sound, so you know that means an explosive barrel is nearby. So you, so it kind of tells you you should be a little careful not to get too close to it. Clip, clip. So moving on here. shells. Zombies for the price of one. <laughs> Shotgun. So we're approaching the yellow door here, and you'll hear once again the sound when it makes when you have the key and it acknowledges that you have the key and then opens the door. Yellow access granted. Shotgun. Now we have the soul sphere here in a pool of water. And secret revealed too. Soul sphere. Now as also you could hear the terrain effects. I'm standing in water and I'm running around in it. Now I'm dry ground. And then I'm going back in the water. So it's not only just water that has this effect, you'll have it with toxic waste, lava, and blood, and if you're playing Doom 2, also some brownish sludge. So that too will also be making some unique sounds. And as you know with the um, with the accessibility mod, you know, it has uh, other important sound effects like health. Of uh, course, I'll go over more of which object does what sound momentarily. So now we're approaching the red door. Red access granted. I have a whole bunch of monsters there. Clip, clip, shotgun, clip, shotgun. shotgun. So this sound right here. That means you're near a health pickup. I might consider changing the sound in the, f in the future iteration of the Toby Accessibility Mod, because I admit it kind of is annoying after a while. I'm trying to figure out if there's a better sound. If any of you have any recommendations, feel free to put that in the comment section down below. So anyway, um, yeah, so we could go ahead and exit. And that is... The demo level. So it's a very simple, straightforward level, done in the style of Wolfenstein, mixed with classic Doom. The entire level itself is one level. There are no stairs, no drop-offs, no elevators or anything like that. It's all one level, pretty flat. 
And um, I do just want to mention that the level itself has been designed in the style of late 90s, early 2000s Doom Watts. The thing is with the, the Watts from the 90s, you know, I, I appreciate the levels a little bit more around that time period because even though they weren't so complex, they didn't take themselves seriously, but they still they had a charm to them, you know. But anyway, that's for another discussion. So I'm going to do another uh, demonstration level, uh, one which focuses a little bit more on the decorations and that they give off ambient sound effects now. Let's try map 25, Blood Falls. Super shotgun. So I'll demonstrate briefly the uh, other terrain effects. So right now I'm walking in blood. <laughs> Has that deep bubbling sound. So let's move on down. Shelves. Shelves. As you hear, right now I'm facing two green tall torches. They're giving off that sound effect. Now I got the sound from one of the uh, decoration uh, downloads from uh, Realm67.com. There's some uh, torches. I don't know if uh, Tormentor still has that one up. What it was is the Stronghold torches. I don't know if he has that anymore on his website, but uh, that's where the sounds come from. I use these in my Temple of Elizabeth series, the, uh, the sound effects. Um, so. This is the sound of the torches. I also have sound effects for the burning barrels. Um, now I did do a pre-test with um, level 23 barrels of fun. The thing is that you're going to be inundated with tons and tons of sound effects that honestly it's going to be deafening. I mean you get a ton of bubbling explosive babble, excuse me, a ton of exploding barrels and you get a bunch of flaming barrels and it's just overwhelming to a point where you just can't hear anything anymore. You'd be lucky if you're not deaf. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the sound of the torches and I'm going to see if I could find another level that has a good balance of everything. Alright guys, I went to level 4 uh, which is Focus from Doom 2, the Focus. And I feel like I could demonstrate more of the pickups in this level. So, as mentioned during the demo map, I am going to just demonstrate a little bit more of the uh, the items and pickups and all that. So, I feel this level should be the uh, appropriate choice to do all the demonstrations. So, um, so here we go. so you know you're in proximity of an armor item. Now here, we have two shotguns and a med kit. Med kit's a little bit more to the right. The shotguns, one's facing in front of me, one's to the left of me. Shotgun. So, as you can definitely hear, when I get close, they start making the noise. When I go far, they don't make that noise. Shotgun. Let me just backtrack for my 
think I might have hit Shell. Yes, they are. <laughs> Shotgun shells. <laughs> Alright, so we got a whole bunch of armor bonuses and a blue key. Armor bonuses. Now what I might do with the uh, pickup sounds, I know they can be a little overwhelming, especially when you pick up a variety of different items. So in the next version, the updated version, I will probably see if I could do something about that. But for the most part, the proximity sensors are more polished up. By the way, here's another terrain effect. This is the brown, gooey sludge in Doom 2. And I see. Probably here on the right speaker, or right next to a barrel. There it is. As you can hear, there's a key in the vicinity. And health to our left. And an imp with a massive blast in his face. Or just... That's where you hit him. Health bonus. Health bonus. Health bonus. Health bonus. Red key card. Even though I'm looking at four armor bonuses across the way, right where the chain gunners were, they're not making the sound because I'm not close enough to them. But, like these stim packs, right in front of me, a line of them, Shotgun. I'm close enough to them. And I'm close enough to this chain gun. Chain gun. Right where those armor bonuses were. Now they're going off like crazy. Armor bonus. Armor bonus. Chain gun. Chain gun. Now the thing is, only some items have the proximity, while others don't. So, for example, like keys. Armor bonus. Chain gun. So, for example, keys, they'll be continuously giving off a beacon sound, so you know where they are. So it makes it easier for you to know what the objective is, where the objective is, and what you need to go for. And bless the demon in the face of the double barrel. Doesn't get old, folks. <laughs> so, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, those items right there. Of course, even power-ups. I do just want to mention, though, that power-ups, too, continuously make a beacon sound just so you know where they are well folks that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button for more doom related content and quite recently i added some new content to my channel i've been doing some narration videos of my novel series adventures of the ppa so if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff be sure to check it out also, I would like to give a thank you and shout out to Mr. Tobiot and DansGO8 for helping to inspire this project series. I also would recommend checking out DansGO8's documentary, Gaming Through New Eyes. The documentary is based on Toby, and I assure you guys, you will enjoy Toby's story. It is certainly wholesome and heartwarming and inspirational. You will enjoy it very much. And I'll put a link down in the description, by the way. Also, I'd like to give a thank you and shout out to Sightless Combat and Illegally Sighted for also contributing to the Toby Accessibility Mod and uh, for really helping shape it and helping 
you know, take care of the, the issues that I might have, um, that I might have missed, you know, some things I should consider and all that. Really, you, your feedback, guys, I can't thank you enough. Also, I'd like to give a thank you once again to Mr. Jarwill for helping to construct the compass system, which, as I've mentioned, was driving me crazy for a long time. So, Jarwill, thank you very, very, very much. Really, your help is much appreciated. And um, just to finish off, I am going to be putting in the description down below two links. The first link will be to the accessibility mod as itself. So it's just the accessibility mod, and all that is required is the latest version of GZ Doom or Z Doom, and also one of the IWADs that I'm going to mention. Either the Doom 1 IWAD, the Doom 2 IWAD, the TNT Evolution IWAD, or the Plutonia Experiment IWAD. That's all that you need with the accessibility mod. Um, or all those things. Now the second link is going to be the demo map with the accessibility mod built into it. So it's all in one package for all of you. So the only thing that you need with that is the Doom 2 IWAD or the TNT Evolution IWAD or the Plutonia Experiment IWAD and of course the latest version of Z-Doom and G-Z-Doom. That's all you need to, to run the, the demo map one. So um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or if you just want to say hi, feel free to leave it in the comments section down below. And that's pretty much it, folks. So once again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So if you're watching this during the day, I wish all of you a good day. If you're watching this during the evening, I wish all of you a good evening. And this is Mr. LND1 signing off, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Take care.